वेलकम व्हाट इज रोलेस थ्योरम ऑन रूट्स ऑफ इक्वेशन इट सेज दैट इन बिटवीन टू कंसेक्यूटिव रियल रूट्स ऑफ एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो देयर विल बी एट लीस्ट वन और एन ऑड नंबर ऑफ रूट्स ऑफ एफ डैश एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ व्हाट इज द रूट root means see here if a function wherever it is crossing x axis at that point we are saying y equals to 0 or x equals to 0 for this value of x is known as a root and if it is crossing further here then this value is also known as a root of the equation and what is the root of f dash x f dash x equals to 0 when tangent to a curve is parallel to x axis because parallel to x axis means tan theta equals to 0 therefore f dash x is 0 let us assume f x equals to 0 have two consecutive roots alpha and beta from here we can say that x minus alpha into x minus beta into let us assume another function gx fx equals to this one so at x equals to alpha it will become 0 at x equals to beta it will become 0 again we are assuming g alpha not equals to 0 g beta not equals to 0 that means between alpha and beta g alpha is not changing sign that means g alpha and g beta is on the same side either on the upper side or in the lower side but it cannot change the side wherever it is changing side at that point it is becoming zero so now this one we can write in this time further we can say this al x minus alpha may be many times so you can say x minus alpha to the power n and x minus beta to the power n gx so this is called alpha is the root of multiplicity n and beta is the root of multiplicity n so this one taking log we can write log of fx equals to here log of this whole thing log of this whole thing you are knowing it can be written log of x minus alpha to the power n again you are knowing this n can be written here so I am directly writing here plus because log n n equals to log n plus log n so in this way n log x minus beta plus log gx now if we are differentiating this one what we are getting log fx its derivative will be 1 by fx into derivative of fx will be f dash x equals to m log x minus alpha will be 1 by x minus alpha similarly m by x minus beta plus this will be 1 by gx into derivative of gx will be g dash x from here we can write f dash x equals to fx into this one fx we can rewrite it it is equals to x minus alpha whole to the power n x minus beta whole to the power n into gx into this whole thing into this whole thing I am directly doing LCM and writing x minus alpha 
एक्स माइनस बीटा है जी एक्स सो हियर इट विल कम एन एक्स माइनस बीटा है जी एक्स प्लस एन एक्स माइनस अल्फा जी एक्स प्लस एक्स माइनस अल्फा एक्स माइनस बीटा इंटू जी डैश एक्स नाउ इफ दिस थिंग्स वी आर कटिंग हियर देन व्हाट वी विल गेट सी एक्स माइनस अल्फा इफ वी आर कटिंग विथ दिस थिंग वी आर गेटिंग पावर टू विल बी माइनस वन If x minus beta, if we are cutting, we will get it will be minus one. If g x we are cutting from here, g x will vanish. So we are getting f dash x equal to this one into this one. For convenience, we are assuming this is another function. Suppose we are saying it phi x equals to m into x minus beta into g x plus m into x minus alpha into g x plus x minus alpha x minus beta into g dash x. So we have assumed earlier that g x is having same sign between alpha and beta now see what we are getting phi alpha phi alpha equals to m into alpha minus beta into g alpha this one is becoming zero alpha minus alpha is zero this one is also becoming zero similarly phi beta we are getting this one is becoming zero so in beta minus alpha into g beta because this one is becoming zero now see from these two things phi alpha and phi beta hmm. here we have already assumed that g alpha and g beta in between everywhere between alpha and beta the this g alpha and g beta have same sign therefore these two have same sign but alpha minus beta and beta minus alpha are surely opposite sign if alpha minus beta is positive beta minus alpha will be negative and conversely if it is negative it will be positive that means phi alpha between alpha and beta phi alpha or phi beta is changing sign this phi x is actually changing sign if phi x is changing sign so wherever as we said if it is coming plus to minus there will be a root somewhere it will cross the x axis so that means f dash x is having a root between alpha and beta now one root may be there we have said there will be either one root or odd number of real roots there cannot be even number of real roots see here what is the situ possible situation if this is alpha if this is there see one root is here one root will be here one root here one root here one root here one two three four five there cannot be even number of roots if we are considering that it is coming down here then this part is not there then you can say one two three roots are there in this way there cannot be even number of roots there will be odd number of roots hence we can say that Rolle's theorem is proved that Rolle's theorem says that in between two roots of fx equals to consecutive roots consecutive real roots of f x equals to 0 there will be at least one root of f dash x equals to 0 or there may be an odd number of real roots thank you